Hey guys, SilentCL here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. So by the time you watch this video, hopefully you guys have already gotten your third daily stamp for the Pokemon promotion um, Shiny Celebi visit. So yes, if you guys didn't know, on the 25th of December, which is Christmas, so Merry Christmas to you guys. Uh, if you guys are watching it after Christmas, well, Christmas is every day. Make sure you share the joy daily. Um, it doesn't just have to be specifically for the 25th of December. The cheerfulness, the, the gift giving and all this kind of stuff. Well, it's, it's shareable every day. Why only make it one day specifically? You know, every day everyone should be cheerful, should be happy to be alongside with whoever um, that you can you know get around with be it families and friends you know depending on the quarantine situation in whichever country you guys are from mm -hmm. so yes spread the cheer and joy every day not just on the 25th of december but anyways guys yes the po latest pokemon movie coco has been released on christmas day in japan so today we are getting our shiny celebi to celebrate um, the release of the movie as well so yeah hopefully you guys got yours if you guys did let me know in the comment section down below there we go hey looking spiffy glad to have you on board now I wonder how this works <laughs> with the regular and the shiny do they recommend always the shiny version or is it just because, you know, both Celebes have somewhat of a different skill so they only recommend accordingly to the skill set? Hmm. So anyway, um, in the mailbox we have this brand new notification saying that the three starters um, from the Gala region from Sword and Shield are coming back. So if you guys have not gotten the three starters from the previous events, um, now is your chance. I mean, for us who have already played through these events, it's a good time to level them up, um, especially if you didn't really work hard during their initial events. Um, you know, now is the time. Alright, so looking forward to seeing them return on the 30th of December, the end of the month, till the 4th of January. So it's only a short 5 day period for Score Bunny, then of course, Sobo. Um, continues on the 4th to the 9th then of course Grookey comes on the 9th to the 13th so pretty long duration of events um, these are just side events though um, they, they aren't exactly like the main ones I think so uh, even if they are the main ones it's always nice to see returning event Pokemons come back so that brand new players of Pokemon Cafe mix um, maybe you who are watching my video right now um, get a chance get a chance to you know attain the brand new I mean not really brand new but <laughs> to attain a brand new event Pokemon for yourself if you are a new player for the older ones basically it's the time to level them up all right so let's move along we are still trying to get Lucario hopefully the Mobile team has been busy, so let's check out the progression. There is an exclamation mark on the icon, so we have definitely unlocked a new level. There we go. So we're moving from level 5 to level 6, hopefully. Level 6 is unlocked. Oh, oh very close. Alright, so let's push forward. Um, seems like everyone is playing a decent amount of you know, levels. But still not, not good enough to try to get level 9. Alright, so we're gonna do the usual stuff. We're gonna do the invitation party first. So let's refresh. Hopefully we get something new. Well, we do have Plusle who's on the low level side. So that's fine. Let's go with this. Alright, so Lucario is recommended. Ooh... Okay, so this level is a bit of a tricky one, so let's just get all the Lucario icons first. Okay, so you must be thinking, do we run to power up Lucario's um, skill 
Um, the answer is no, because you want to try and get rid of as many of the um, cheeses as possible so you can get more space um, to have more icons falling in. So let's do this. We're gonna have to pop as many bubbles as we can as well. Alright, okay, so we are kind of in the pinch right here. We can't get the other chocolate, so that's, that's kind of a bummer. Okay, we're gonna go with Snubble because it just seems to be a bit more. Alright, okay, so we're gonna go with Lucario next. Um, covering as much surface area as possible because popping that tomato bubble so you can get it into the basket. Alright, make sure you cover as much chocolate as possible. And of course, getting the veggies. Veggies are important. Alright, here we go. Chocolates and veggies. Alright, tomato is in. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna have... Can we try to pop... Oh, why did he move? That's just a bummer. Okay, one of the tomatoes are in. Two of them are in. Oh, we didn't pop it! Oh... Okay. Let's do this. There we go. Hmm... So the main thing is to definitely push the tomato in. There we go. Okay, so we just need to destroy the chocolate and get some vegetables and we are good! Simple as that. Although we did struggle a bit with the bubble. But it's all fine. As long as we clear the level, that's all good. Alright, on to the next level. So, as usual, if you have trouble trying to clear the second level, um, the 900 acorns is definitely going to help you out. But make sure you're, you know, spending within your means. You know, acorns are kind of hard to come by. Right. Do we need to clear more bubbles? I guess so. Let's pop these. Alright, so we do kinda need to push the chestnuts together. So can we do that? There we go, fantastic. So let's pop the stuff here first. Because I mean the canister on the top is kind of a hindrance. So we're gonna have to do this. We need the icons to flow in if we want to get that link 30 challenge. So let's go for the 30 right now. There we go, easily cleared. Alright, the next thing we want to do is basically destroy the icons required. Mm -hmm. Oh, we still need 30. Uh oh. Okay, maybe let's get rid of bubble sauce. Alright, we have a lot of Togepi. So we do need to use that 900 acorns, sadly to say. Um, just because of that one single chestnut. But you know, it's all good. There we go. So yeah, if you place your destroyable items close together, you should technically be able to clear this without the 900 acorns. So just be cautious with your moves. Alright, and on to the regular levels. Let's go. Oh, we need Lucario again. Hmm, a brand new menu. So this should be an easy level. And here we have the introductions of the strawberry baskets. Make a combo next to a basket or hit it with a skill or megaphone to get a strawberry out. Once you get 5 strawberries out, the basket will be cleared. So there's no shortcut way to destroying the strawberry basket, so you just have to pay attention every time they appear. Here we go. So let's just cover all the strawberries with icons. Okay, 
location, we select the Pokemon icon that has the most available. There we go. Simple as that. Alright, make sure we weave through. Okay, we have this, so I'm going to use a horse. Although it's just going to remove one strawberry each. Okay. And that's it. Simple as that. Tutorial levels are always fun. Relaxing. Alright, moving along. Okay, we need Starly. Seems like it's gonna be a megaphone challenge. Yep. Hmm. Okay, there seems to be more Squirtle, so let's go with Squirtle. Okay, covering the baskets of the strawberries if possible. Of course, don't forget the veggies. Right, um, we're gonna go with more Starly icons first because we don't really have a lot of meat for the skills. Okay, one of the baskets is kind of. Um, Okay, now we have two baskets that is kind of lacking in terms of destructions. There we go. Now that we have more space, let's go ahead and release the Kraken, or rather the megaphones. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, at least we got most of the stuff covered. We just need to destroy the basket. There we go. That's it. Pretty simple level. Just make sure all the icons are touching the baskets. And of course, not forgetting the vegetables required. Michino, you're next. Okay. Hmm, there are a lot of Pikachu icons, so let's just make use of Pikachu first. But make sure you touch all the baskets. Okay, now we can go with Nichino. Alright, so we do need to power up Nichino's skill if we want to fully take advantage of, you know, the destruction range. Okay. Okay. There we go. Can we get a, a tree lane? There we go. Three lane destruction. That settles the baskets as well. Alright, let's gather more. Okay, let's get another skill. So basically, this level is just cleared with um, Nichino skill powered up twice. There we go. Simple as that. Alright. Squirtle, you're up. Oh, we're gonna get gifts from Eevee after this. Hmm. Okay. So... Because Squirtle's skill does destroy things at you know a certain direction, it's better to have Squirtle's skill drop over. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna remove some of the stuff. So let's push. Let's push all the tomato bottles to the bottom, so that we will have an easier time destroying everything at one go. Oh, did I miss one bottle? Yeah, I did. Oh, that's such a bummer. Would have been <laughs> pretty good if we just ended everything there on the fourth move remaining. Oh well. Give me those gifts, Eevee. Not that we use them. <laughs> okay, moving along. Okay, we need slow path. 
Hmm. Ice problems. Okay, so we do need to release the slurp house from its encasements in the bottom row. So let's just do that. Now let's do the same. Just, I mean, just releasing stuff and of course making sure to destroy marshmallows alongside it. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good. Marshmallows are a problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, missed one. Okay, now we really need to focus a bit on the ice. Push the tomatoes to the other corner. Yep. Okay, so we've got lots of icons going right now, so let's just make use of them. Okay. Let's cover as much area as possible so that the tomatoes can fall in easily. Push the tomato too far away. There you go. It's not gonna fall in because it's too narrow. Hmm. Oh, I missed the munch legs. Ah, oh, what a waste. Okay, so it's not ex exactly a very difficult level. If I had cleared the munch legs below, um, the Tomato will have fallen nicely, so we're just gonna go with the 900 acorns. I'm sure you guys can see how easy this level is, technically, kind of. Oh god. <laughs> okay, we had to use. Oh, we didn't use a move. Even. Oh, because they changed the rules where the first icon that you tap and let go is not counted as a move. Okay, that's actually pretty sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that level isn't exactly very difficult. It might be a bit troublesome due to the movements of the tomatoes, but you know, other aside from that, it's it's, it's pretty good. Um, I mean, to clear without a fuss. Okay, stop them. Oh no. Okay, so there are olives that are open air already. So let's try to destroy them, you know, before unlocking any other things. Because we don't want the other items to get coated with color oil. It's such a pain. Okay. There we go. Oh. That wasn't fantastic. Okay, let's set free the olives. Now we're destroying some chestnuts. Okay. Can we push them together? Okay, it's probably gonna coat one of the chestnuts yet. Hmm. <laughs> Almost expected. Okay. Um. Let's get the slurp halves. Destroying the olive. Okay, we should probably have gone with a powered up Scotland skill earlier. Oh well. Okay, let's destroy the whole bunch here. Oh, come on. Go, all the trail of olives are gone. Okay, so let's push the chestnut together. Another stopling skill. Oh, shot off a bit. Hopefully, it gives us enough range to destroy the chestnuts together. Oh, wait, they are, they are still encased. Oh, that's such a bummer. Completely forgot about that. Oh. Okay. 
we used too many moves doing pointless stuff so let's retry this level okay we're gonna do it systematically section by section this time round okay we're gonna destroy the olives the all natural way <laughs> There we go. Now that we have our skill, let's do this. So we can move on to destroying the olives here. No help from the megaphones as always. Okay. There we go. Let's get Squirtle. Don't want to waste all the Stockland icons. Okay, now that we have that, and we know that we can cover all three lanes here. So this is probably the most systematic way of doing things in this level. Okay, destroying the olives. Alright, now we just need one more skill. Set everything free on that side. There we go. Hopefully, megaphones are summoned in the direction that we need. Nope. That's always untrustable. There we go. Three chestnuts. Can we clear the tree here? Yes, we can. And we are done. Oh, so simple. So, just have to destroy olives. You know, in the all natural way, do it systematically one row after the other because you don't want too many things to get coated in olive oil. So, yeah. Alright, plus so, let's go. Oh, three combos of 25 links. Okay. Okay, we do have strawberry baskets, so let's do that. Fantastic. Um, one more time. We do need a link of 25. Okay, that did not count. Okay, that did not count as well. Now we have lots of pluses, so let's do that link of 25. So it's always good if you can shift the pumpkins down so that you can destroy them together later. Alright, very good. Hmm. Okay, let's continue shifting the pumpkins. Alright, now that all the pumpkins are on the bottom level, let's go ahead and start destroying stuff. One together. There we go. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to power it up. Oh well. Okay, one last pumpkin. And we are done. Simple as that. So the main key is definitely to get the pumpkins to move together. You know, you can leave it up there if you can. Um, definitely it might drop just from the shifting of the Pokemon icons. So yes, the the bottom level strategy works best. Alright. Okay. We have Arduino that's required. Lots of megaphones, I guess. Ooh. Uh oh. Okay, so let's gather some Arduino icons and we're gonna try and um yeah, uncoat the canisters um, in a position that you know makes it easier for Ordino skill to help destroy. Of course, we still have to rely a bit of RNG with the um, megaphone placements, so that's one of the issues. Okay, now that we're ready, let's do this. Make sure you have enough Pokemon icons in the green circle range because that's where the megaphones are going to appear. Hmm. 
Oh wait, we still have one more food can in the canvas. I mean, a loaf of porridge missing. Okay, maybe let's do this. All right, lots of improvements in destruction. Okay, we will just use this. Make sure we cover as many high points as possible. There we go, that's what we wanted, so we can get the skill. Hopefully the megaphone points in the correct direction. Yes, we do get one. Whew. Okay, moving along. That wasn't a very difficult level, as long as you gather the food cans in you know the area that the megaphones can benefit its randomness. <laughs> Ooh, getting another gift from Charmander. Oh, level 3. Nice. Ooh, friendship bonus. Okay, that's gonna help with the Lucario event. Alright, do take note guys, there's 4 more days for the Lucario event. Make sure you work hard to help your team unlock the event Pokemon. Hmm. Okay, it seems like we have a role that requires Charmander skill to be leveled up. So aside from that, I think regular normal skill is fine as well. We need the veggies. Okay, let's do this. Three lane destruction. Okay. Make sure you mix things up nicely. And we get those vegetables. Okay, we got Charmander. Okay, getting our vegetables along. Somewhat of a tree lane. Somewhat. Alright, so let's push these things together. There we go. Now we just get our veggies. Icons. Let's cover the rest of the crates. Pictures. Alright. Charmander. And we got all the vegetables. Luckily, we hit the top right corner <laughs> crate as well. So, yes, fantastic stuff. Look at that, stars! Alright, you can choose at level 2 too. Oh, now we are now 10th level. Oh, could have been nice if we got a friendship bonus. Just like the last episode. <laughs> but oh well. Okay, Jigglypuff, let's go. Hmm. Alright, so I wouldn't be too bothered about the tomato bottles. The main issue is actually the, um, the strawberry casings. Like, you won't be able to cover all of them unless you're fast enough. So let's, let's destroy the bottles and gain a large amount of icons that are similar. Because we do need a link of 34. Twice. And with this, it's a lot easier to gain um, coverage for the strawberry bottle. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's destroy these. Okay, let's get us some Lucario. Jigglypuff for the skill. Okay. Maybe let's use the skill here to get more stable icons. Yep. Now that we've got a very good coverage. Okay. 
Now the only problem is we have only one. Um, oh god. Oh no. I was hoping to make use of the megaphone to help me destroy <laughs> the strawberry box. Uh, I it was in the correct position, but it's just that my skill did not touch the thing to activate it. Oh. Such a bummer. Okay, let's go with the 900 since you're yeah, just one strawberry away. Oh well. It wasn't a difficult level, you just need to be careful on, you know, making sure that your icons are touching the strawberry boxes. Like I said, the tomato bottles aren't an issue. So anyway guys, that's it for today. We've cleared another 10 levels, pushing our team slightly further to unlocking Lucario. Uh, we still got 4 more days like I mentioned, as you can tell from the event icon there as well. Hopefully you guys have been busy trying to get Lucario for yourself. If you've already unlocked it, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, um, subscribe for more contents just like this as we keep track with Pokemon Cafe Mix and its life cycle of its development, um, or rather its game development, game lifespan, <laughs> however long the Pokemon company decides for this game to sustain. So it seems like it's been played worldwide, it's just that you know the number of players isn't exactly is phenomenal. Um, it has been, you know, nominated in the Game Awards and all that kind of stuff, and it did win something technically, um, kind of, but not under the Game Awards category. <laughs> but still, it's a very enjoyable game, it's very cute, the art style is fantastic, and I'm looking forward to, you know, whatever Pokemon that they can release in the future, although we are technically getting some re-events, or rather, um, events, event Pokemons that are reappearing again means they are kind of having some problems with um, making new content maybe but at the same time it's always good for new players to join in and attain some of these past event Pokemon for themselves so it's good and bad in both ways but anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. As always, and make sure you hit the like button to let me know you enjoyed yourself or if this video is actually helpful for you to clear certain levels, let me know as well in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. Till then, bye!